it is Missy Beauty. I am back again and I am back because I received my March BoxyCharm. Usually I get it a little bit earlier than this, so I am sure you guys have already seen spoilers. They're not really even spoilers. You've just already seen people unbox uh, their boxes. But as I'm sure you guys already know, there are variations to those boxes and you can also choose uh, certain items that you want in your box, this or that type of thing. So uh, if you're interested to see what I got in my box, Boxy Charm for the month of March 2020, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so this is the card for the month of March. It does say uh, pretty edgy is what it says pretty edgy pretty edgy right here in the corner now because of this whole coronavirus situation I was careful uh, I did not accept the packages uh, from the and I know they say that we can't get it via mail so far they're saying that uh, but I did put on rubber gloves. I let the mail carrier put the packages in front of the door and I got gloves and Lysol, put the gloves on, did get the packages opened while well, I sprayed the outside of the box with Lysol, opened it, opened the boxes and sprayed a little bit. So, hey, that's all I can do. They're saying that you cannot get it that way as they say now. But anyway, so I was just extra cautious I already opened my boxes but this is the card that we have I got variation number 28 I don't know if you guys will see that focus or not no but anyway <clears throat> this is a version number 28 um, and it does say last time I was a little upset because I didn't even get a card or this, the foam, and this time I got the foam. So let's go ahead and get started. One thing that is standing out is this lipstick. It is another Appeal lipstick, Ultra Cream lipstick. And I did get one in another color that was not my shade. It was not my shade. What did I do with it? <clears throat> I did have it. In the drawer here it is so the one that I got was in this shade this is not my shade it's too pink for me I can't put it in the giveaway it's too late um, I did open it swatch it and wear it on my lips just to make sure this one um, let's see this one is in the color does it tell me muse and this one is more of a nude which is great which is in the color Dulce, I believe. So let me see if I can somehow get this undone so we can go ahead and swatch it uh, and see. I do have a clean face because I believe there is a boxy charm eyeshadow palette in here. Let me get this undone and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here is the color I finally or the shade, yeah, this is much better for me. Much better. And let me just swatch it here. Let me uh, zoom in, because that's the only way it will clearly end up showing. So yeah, this is a lot better for me. Let me just watch side by side for you. <clears throat> the other one that I had and I do have to get to going though um, because I have a lot more to unbox here so this is the other one the pinkish one versus this one and you see the difference this is more of a nude this is pinky okay so that's it side by side and this retails at Let's see, it is the Appeal Cosmetics Ultra Cream Lipstick, a luxurious cream lipstick that slides on with ease and stays comfortable all day. That is $21, $21. The next item, and I'm sorry, I'm bending down. The next item is a Sutra Beauty Mini Ceramic Curling Iron, and that retails at $50. $50 so I like how it comes in 
the plastic and then you get your own baggie for it. <clears throat> and it just tells you everything that it does. Compact design. I think it's called Tumaline Ceramic Barrels, Professional Salon Quality, Fast Heat Up and Recovery, Max Temp, 190 degrees Celsius, 370 Fahrenheit, 1 point M swivel cord, ergonomic grip handle, dual voltage. Okay, so let's take this out. They are saying that this retails at $50. This is considered a mini. Oh, it's purple. This would be, <laughs> this would be cute uh, for my daughter's hair. Yeah, I'll, I'll be keeping this. So this is something I can wrap her hair around <clears throat> to give it that uh, Shirley Temple curl look. But here you have the... Um, setting and everything or the on off switch I think this would be but yeah so that's nice that's nice again retails at 50 bucks I don't know if I can fit fit this back in the packaging and we'll just put it I like the little holding case and it does have a brochure inside um, so that's great so I just I'm gonna try to fit it back into its pouch carrier that they gave you. Okay. That's nice. All right, let's zoom back out a little. The next product I'm going to pull out is the Metal Crush Liquid Highlighter Illuminator Liquid. This is a Kat Von D product. Um, it does say KVD Vegan Beauty Metal Crush Liquid Highlighter. Illuminate your um, complexion with a dose of Ethereal Glow. Metal Crush Liquid Highlighter lights up your best features with an ultra fine pearlescent fluid formula. Perfect for soft everyday radiance. This creamy yet lightweight formula is super versatile and buildable. $25 KV Beauty. $25. Let's go ahead and take this out and swatch it. The container does look like this. So let's try to take a Okay, so it does have a applicator. Um, it, oh, and it's clicks. Let's wait for it here to. Okay, guys, I, I'm thinking that's what the clicker is. Uh, <clears throat> Can we have some instructions, please? Where's the product? <laughs> Sorry, guys. What in the world? Am I doing this correctly? Oh, here it is. It just took a while. All right, guys. So let's take a look. Okay, shearing it out. You can see how it can be subtle. Shearing it out there on my hand. All right, very interesting. And I guess with the applicator you can Put it on your cheek and then shear it out with your hand or brush or even beauty blender if that's what you choose to do. But okay, this is, looks like a nice product. It retails at $25, $25. Uh, the next product I'm going to pull out is a Becca Ultimate Lip Definer. Let's see if it can be used 
Vip, eh, I don't know, it's, it's in the color Pouty. And it is, let's see. It's kind of a nude color. Let's go ahead and take it out. Uh, this is by Becca. It says Becca Ultimate Lip Definer. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I just knocked everything. Let's see. Becca Ultimate Lip Definer. A high impact eight hour, mm, eight hour long wear liner that efforts, effortlessly contours and defines the lips. Um, with perfect balance in color and precision, the innovative dual ended liner comes with a built in sharpener and pout perfecting precision tool for effortless application and definition every time. $18. Okay, $18. I'm dropping everything on the floor. <clears throat> Let's see what this end has. This end actually has the liner. Let's swatch it. <clears throat> Sorry guys. So that's the color of the liner. Now I could use, sorry guys, I'm sure you heard me bump up against the, um, bump up against the uh, microphone there. Let's see what the other end looks like. I don't know if this could be a lip liner. Usually I like a dyke, usually I like a dark color um, for the lip liner, but... Here is the other end, which I believe will be the sharpener. And then, I don't know, do you take this off? Yeah, and this is something different. Okay, um, it's got a rubber bendable tip here. So it is bendable. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, guys, if you understand, I know this is the sharpener. The other end here, I'm not sure, guys, if you know what this is. Please put it in the comments below because I'm lost. Um, sorry about that. Sorry, I don't know what every beauty tool does. Um, but, yeah, if you know what it does, I know what the sharpener does, of course. But I do not know what the... Um, sorry, guys trying to put everything back in its package. I do not know what the um, other end does. So let's put these back. <sighs> I am Butterfingers today. All right, the last item in the box. Drum roll please is the BoxyCharm palette. I think I might have seen this. Um, and I am gonna try everything on that I have today. Uh, I am, oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is my, I'm editing another video. All right, guys, sorry about that. But here is the BoxyCharm palette. Uh, I did have a um, video coming out for uh, two products that I did purchase. I don't know if it's going to make it before or after this video is posted. But you open it up, it says, Hello Charmer, what are they saying about this? <clears throat> it does say, BoxyCharm, Hello Charmer palette. This exclusive Hello Charmer palette uh, features a blend of 12 matte and shimmery shades made specifically with our charmers in mind. These high pigmented colors deliver maximum payoff while providing smooth textures for transitional day-to-day tonight or sorry day to night looks uh 39 sounds interesting let's go ahead and open this palette uh let's take this uh, plastic off to minimize the reflection from my ring light here oh nice shades this is pretty so it does come with a mirror this is the mirror here but look at these shades here Look at the name, Boxy Charmers. I can't read from here. 
I wear glasses, but these are really nice shades, really nice shades. Let me see if I can swatch a few. <clears throat> it's really nothing to say while I'm putting the colors on my fingers. So I'll just stare at you guys. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Oh, I got the stuff in the way. Very nice. And then the white we'll put here. Okay. One more shade that is at the top there. I'm going to try to get. Let's see. This shade is called Live, and I'm saying it because I understand why it's called Live. Let's see. Look at that gold. Let's try to get closer. Look at that. Oh, it's not focusing. Pretty, pretty. You could see which one is the matte one. Now let's see what I can swatch for you guys on the other arm. I am going to swatch these and then go get my daughter. And then of course you're not going to see that. But I'll be back and she'll be here and I'll complete the rest of the video. Let's go ahead and... Wow. Okay, this is a nice, nice uh, palette here. Look at these colors. And then the thumb. It's a little chalky, but it could have been the way that I... There we go. Let's see. Can you guys make that out? There you go. So these are the colors. Very nice palettes. I'm guessing the BoxyCharm company, um, they are the ones that came up with this palette. Very nice. So I will be trying this on. Uh, I will be trying these colors or shades on. Of course, not all of them. I'm not that talented that I can make all of them work together. I'm not so sure I'd want to. But, yes, this is that. And what are they saying? Um, $39 this palette would retail at. So, guys, the next time you see me, I am going to be trying on these products. And we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, I am going to start out with the Hello Charmers palette as in case there is some fallout. Then I'll go in with the uh, rest of my makeup and we'll start there.
right, guys. I was just talking on the phone and talking and talking and talking. So with the palette, and you guys saw me talking and jibber jabbing. Um, you saw what colors I used, okay? You saw my swatches. Well, this is what some of the colors look like on my face. This almost looks like something I would want for Mardi Gras. Not too daring, but daring for me, I guess. So yeah, and then I um, made my eyebrows real neat. The powder was a little light for me, but I like it. It was the Lancome uh, face powder. It was the foundation, powder foundation from Lancome. I always use my butter bronzer to bronze things up. I will now use this uh, melt, Meltal. Metal Crush Highlighter and see what that does for me. Let me go ahead and take that out. So let's go ahead and use it. Got some coming out right now. Oh, and it's hanging out. So I'll use my finger on the other side. So let's go ahead and Tap it out, tap it out. I like this highlighter, guys. I, I really like the highlighter. I like how it goes on subtle. I do have more, um, I do have more um, texture on this side of my face. I like this highlighter, guys. I like it. And it has a good smell to it. So let's put it down the center of my nose. Trying to rub evenly here. Bring it on up. <laughs> I did the pig nose thing. Isn't that interesting? Alright, so... I think I bronzed my nose a little bit too much, but I don't know why I put that there because I want to test out the, um, I do want to test out the um, lip liner that we got from Becca. Unfortunately, guys, I will not be able to test the, um, hair curlers. I thought that I would be able to test them on my daughter's hair, but I did not plug it up yet. So where is my... I don't think this is going to show up on me because I have lip gloss on. Let me zoom in. You can see it a little bit. So I did put I did put the lipstick on before I left to get my daughter. So that's the remnants of what you see. But I'm going to go ahead and put some more on. Sorry guys. Do not know. Okay. So that the color isn't everything. Guys, this is what it's looking like with all of the product on. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with this. Um, I can't really try this on, on camera, so, but it, it will be used. Um, this is the look that I made with the products that I have. I think this is a good value based on the card. Uh, I'm not going to add it up or anything like that. Um, I'm sorry guys, I might have to let me turn my camera upward a little bit. So yeah, I, I really do like the highlighter. I do like the lipstick. I would rather have a darker pencil to go to outline my lips. I would rather have a darker pencil. Uh, I do like 
the colors of the eyeshadow, but there was quite a bit of fallout. Um, I think you guys saw me wiping. Um, I did not put on any blush, which I, I guess I could do that. Um, but um, I really like the combination of the highlighter and the bronzer. I like that combination. But guys, yeah, this is it. So I am happy with BoxyCharm. Last time I was not. Last um, month I was not happy. Uh, this month they have redeemed themselves. Uh, I like the Kat Von D highlighter for sure. So guys, that is it. That was my version number 28 for BoxyCharm. The next thing I will do, and I have it sitting right here, is my FabFitFun I believe it's a spring Fab Fit Fun. So that is the next. Um, what is going on with my background? That is the next unboxing that you will <laughs> that you will see. So guys, yeah, that is it for now. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know I can be chatty towards the end. Um, so if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to look at the rest of my videos, if it's something you want to subscribe to, if you're not already, please do. And we will, I am quite glowing. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.